Hello, hello. Hi. We are gonna go yard sailing in a little bit, but first we're at Pet Supermarket, and we're gonna. What are we gonna go look at? We're gonna go look at guinea, baby guinea pigs. And we're gonna see if we find one we like. So let's first we're gonna go look at guinea pigs. All right. So we picked us two guinea pigs, and my sister's bringing us a third. And now we're at a yard sale. So Dalton, you ready to go into the yard sale? Yeah. All right. Here I we like go. That. You have too much energy. It is leaves. You got. Not in the driveway. <laughs> this first blue and black backpack, I didn't know the brand Haglofts. I should have picked that up. That was a good pickup, but I passed it up. I also did not know Mamut, and that is another good brand. Fun. So just some brands that if you see them, pick them up. Come. So we're going to get this Patagonia. And then there's another yard sale next door we're going to go to. So this yard sale actually ended up being two nurses that I used to work with. So I see that Harley bag down there on the left. And it is like a touring bag, I believe. Look, all of the, look at the nurses wearing Crocs. You can see my Crocs and her Crocs. So I was just talking to them a little bit about work and both of them are no longer at the hospital either. So we will see what else they have. And I, I'm going to ask about this Harley bag here in a little bit. The other one there is the leather one, and it's nice, but it is unbranded. And I very, very rarely will pick up unbranded stuff like that. It's just a little bit harder to sell. So we will see what else we see back here. And I was on the fence, but with no name, I'm not really sure how that would do. That little 10... It's not really a 10, but the little container there with the little spools of thread is kind of cute. But it's really big, and I think that would be super hard to ship and probably would not sell for much. Even though they only had it priced at $3. Sometimes, and I'm trying to make it more times than not, you need to just leave stuff there if it's not worth selling. And I'm not seeing a ton here besides that Harley book. But back here, closer to the door, I see a jacket that catches my eye. And it is a SpongeBob jacket. And this one, she wants $10, but I think it'll sell for about $35 or $40. So I think it is worth it. It's covered in hair. So I did bring it directly home and wash it but it came clean and is a really cool it's too big for Dalton it's like an 8 to 10 so it'll be a few years before he could wear it so we are going to post that up and then I ended up getting that Harley bag for $80 as well which you will see everything again at the hall hello guys and I'm Dot. That is Dalton. And Dalton just finished swim practice and we saw a yard sale. So we're going to go see what they have. All right, so the closer I got, they were playing music, so I am going to have to do a voiceover. This stool is really, really cool, and it actually reminds me of, like, the Southwestern 
woven rugs, but it was a newer one and it was actually a Ross that was $25. But I like, they have $5 table, a $3 table and a dollar table here. So hopefully we will find some stuff. And as always, if you see something I passed up that was worth money, please let me know. So right now we are looking on the $3 table and this hair dryer with the tortoise shell, this one looked kind of cool, but I actually looked it up and was unable to find it. And so as I said earlier in the video, I'm trying to leave that stuff behind. And this, I kind of, I kind of wish I had got this. It, but it had some stains. It was like a cute little bread basket cover. Super, super cute. Now, these calligraphy envelopes caught my eye. A lot of times, the vintage stationery can be valuable. But this one didn't look like it sold for very much. And it was on the $5 table. Now here, this glass is really, really thick. It's a very, very nice little glass vase, but there's no name, no signature. And with the breakables, I want to have a little bit higher value in order to deal with shipping them. Now here, we're at the dollar table and I haven't really grabbed anything. Again, I am try trying to be a little bit pickier. We really, our goal as full-time resellers, we want our sales average to be between $40 and $50. That is our goal. And I am now throwing things on the ground. Luckily, it wasn't a breakable thing or I would have had to buy it. I love this little bud vase. I love the $15, $20 stuff. But unless it sells really fast, I'm trying to stay away. Now, this is really cool. This is a Portugal. I did pick this up and I should have left it there. It's worth about $20, $25, but it's a little bit bigger breakable. But I picked it up, so <laughs> we will sell it. Now, the Coaster Stones sell for about $25. So that one is not as high as what I'm saying I want, but... They're small and they're super easy to ship. So, you know, you got to kind of do a little give and take and I'm not finding much. So I want to get stuff. So I have some new items in my store. So I'm not hard fast sticking to that 40 to $50. Now we're still at the dollar table. So they had a ton of stuff on this dollar table and this is another thing that would be really easy to list and ship and that was a bank bag and I did grab that one and we will again we're going to recap all of these yard sales at the end and I will show you everything I did pick up because some stuff didn't get shown on camera now here's a bunch of vintage cards and stationery now if they're plain I typically am not going to pick them up but these here with the little scallop border are really cute that you see there on the right. I believe I did get those. And these were four for a dollar for the packs. So these are cozy kittens. And those I think are pretty decent. And current kittens, that one is really cute. So I'm going to get a few out of this box. And this is where you need to dig because you really don't know and some vintage stationery can be super super valuable so I am trying to dig in the box I did not have my camera on a clip-on purse like I normally do I actually was just holding my camera so I only have one hand if you notice here and most times I try to have two hands I clip it on now here are some more really cool botanical print so those I will probably get as well. We'll see what else we can find in the bottom. And you see there are the four for a dollar. I'm a sucker for stuff for a quarter, you know. It's hard, to, it's hard to pass up quarter stuff and free stuff. That is the thing. 
on the other end of the table, look at these vintage holiday and fly swatters. Vintage hotel advertising can sell. So we're going to get those. All right. Inside the garage, I have found the linens. And you know I love vintage linens. So let's take a look and see what we can see here. Four for a dollar in this box. And it turned out this yard sale is actually somebody who owns a little like vintage antique shop in the town. But they bought this big estate sale and they just did not have room for all this stuff in their store. So they are selling at very, very reasonable prices to try and get rid of it fast. Now, here is a vintage towel. Quite a few of them actually. And vintage towels, I believe these are Huck towels. And these sell very well, as well as the really, really bright prints. And great little vintage Christmas hand towel here. So definitely finding some good linens here. Look at the pattern on this one. The checker, super, super cool towel. And that one we definitely are going to get. And we will see what is on the other side here. Look at this little towel. Super, super cute. So we're going to rack up on linens here. And I, I was super sad. There, there were some kachinas there on the counter. I don't know if I end up showing them. But somebody else saw them before I did. And I think they sold them for a really, really good price. Now, these, these were probably the best find. These pillowcases have already sold. They have been listed and they sold for $30 with the little kittens on them. They sold very, very fast within one day of listing. So watch those vintage pillowcases. In here? What? Are you jamming? No. I thought you jamming. All right, we got some good stuff there. I only spent $13, but I ran into a viewer who does house clean outs and I might meet up with him this week. So I'm excited to have ran into Leroy and hopefully I can get some more stuff from him. In the meantime, we are at another yard sale. So let's go see if we can find more stuff and I'll do a haul at the yep, end. Hello. And Dalton says, hello, let's go see. Yeah. All right, let's go see what we see. That looks like a very nice chair. Yeah. I know. So okay, well, looks nice. But the chair looks nice. And some of the shirts kind of look nice. Yeah. Because see that one? This green one I like. And because. It's green like Minecraft. It's green like Minecraft. Yeah. You want to sit down? You want to go ask him how much this shirt is for mommy? Okay. Hi. Hello. What are you doing, Dalton? <laughs> how much is this shirt? That's what he's coming. He thought he had to go all the way over there to ask. Three bucks. Okay. And what about the tumbler? Um, two bucks. Okay. Those things are expensive. I have like way too many. I'm like I have a tumbler, a tumbler problem. I think it's an obsession for the for everybody. 
It is. The tumbler of possession. Dalton Dean, what are you doing? You have a big dolphin plant? You're looking at their plants? Columbia PFG is a great brand. We pick up their shirts all the time and the hats do well also. They told me only $20 for that backpack and it is worth well over 100 So that one's a great find. I didn't look up the bats, <laughs> but I probably should have. Dalton, are you driving them crazy? This is a very, very well-made leather belt. Very nice. Could you do 10 on the coach instead of 15? Yeah. Okay. I've had that forever, and like the people, I used to have a whole coach collection, and the people I used to pawn my stuff to, they're like, it's so old, we can't, we can't yeah. buy it from you. But it isn't a real, it's a real coach, so I can tell you that much. Of, but it's like all, it's pretty good on the inside. Yeah. It's just got like a little Couple bit of, of spots, glitters yeah. in there. I haven't used it and so it's more of like a little. Like, like a bag, young, little, yeah. For, I don't even carry a purse. All right, so we got a few good things there. Coach purse, I think is worth a hundred. The Easton backpack also worth a hundred. So some really good finds and I spent $34. So not too bad. We'll see if we're going to go, we're either going to go to another garage sale or I'm going to show you the haul. I'm not sure which, so it'll be a surprise. All right, we found another yard sale. Hello guys. So we are going to another yard sale. Let's yep. see. So this is in the little town of Newberry, Florida. And this setup is really, really cool. I actually see this sign quite often and I have never stopped. So this will be our first time stopping. And I think it's probably something they do semi-regularly. They said they weren't gonna have any more sales uh, for a few weeks, but the clothes are 50 cents. So I'm not sure if these are getting donated or how they're getting the clothes, but 50 cents is pretty cheap, but I don't wanna add any more long tail items to my listings. If you don't know, long tail items are those, to me, long tail is it takes over six months to sell. So when you're checking eBay, you, if you're looking to pick up stuff for resale, you want to see how many are listed and then you filter to see how many have sold. And I like to see typically 50% or more, which means they should sell in about six months. And most of these brands were not overly popular, but this Las Vegas hat, I've done very well with like little souvenir things. So for 50 cents, I am going to pick that one up and we'll see if we see anything else. I do tend to gravitate more towards men's clothes just because I don't know a ton of women's brands. If you have watched me, you know, that is the case. I'm like a t-shirt and jeans or comfy pants kind of person not not a ton of clothes so i don't see a ton here that is good brands but 
check out this vintage Cheers Boston. This is on a Lee Sport tag, and for 50 cents, that is an excellent find. So I think it's always good to kind of look through because you never know when there's going to be that vintage hidden gem in there. And we found one. So here, these are cute. And if they are Mr. Christmas, they sell really high. But these look like these were just generic brands. That is a plastic light bulb, by the way. That is not a glass light bulb. <laughs> And this was recorded last year, right before Christmas. This is not a newer one, but Dalton and I will be going to the thrift store next. You will see a thrift store video next. And then next week we will have some Clearwater Beach thrifting videos. We're hoping we can find some good stuff there. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and following and turn on the bells if you have not and we're gonna have some great videos for you this year so if you know me I do sell a lot of jewelry but most of that didn't look overly impressive so I did go ahead and pass that up now this is actually it's like a little mini backpack it's a case logic and I did pick this one up I think it was 50 cents and it actually sells for about 20 to $25 so that was a really good find and it does seem like it sells pretty fast now if you do not know vintage fishing lures can be really really good money so that giant one there the green sells for about $40 but they had it priced at like I want to say 25 and then if you see this one here this is a Rapala which is a great brand, but they had it priced at $35. You can see 50 on some of these. That one was 30. So they had them priced right around where they sell on eBay. But if you happen to find a bunch of vintage Rapala fishing lures, definitely look them up because some of those actually can sell for in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now this coming up here is my favorite part of the sale they have this little barn over here and it's actually it's set up like a little store it's super super cute so we're gonna head into that I don't I don't see anything overly impressive <laughs> in this tub of stuffed animals but I do check out plush plush is another thing there can definitely be some surprising aspects too so look at how cute this is this is like set up in a shed that has no floor and it's like a little antique shop inside of their shed so pretty cool it would be easy for me to kind of set something up like this i have enough stuff but we're gonna see what we can find in here really cute you have gators i think this is actually a little solar light it was new with the tag i i had to I had to put it back. <laughs> I don't think it would sell very well. I was thinking about it for myself, but I really did not need it. And so I was hoping maybe we'll find some good stuff in here, but nothing is overly catching my eye. If I miss something, definitely let me know. This is a really nice embroidered tablecloth, but I think they had it at like a ten dollars i want to say so a little bit more than i really would like to pay but it was very very nice it's, i think it's just so cool how they have this set up inside of here all right so over here on the shelf i see lots of little baggies and this one up top looks like it has some cute little stuff in here. And they're actually, and I don't know if I took them out for you, but that little perfume bottle there with the flowers is worth almost $100 empty. $3 for the bag. And there was a $100 perfume canister in there. How, it's a Copenhagen. So... I like the little grab bags because miniatures can be very, very valuable and catch you off guard. So 
don't don't pass up those little grab bags if you see them and this little clip on bird I think was a good pickup but there was only a single one and I typically like to find like three sets of three so I don't think we really see anything else here so we are gonna go ahead and get out of here and we will show you the haul from all of the garage sales that you've already seen if you watch this far we appreciate you don't forget we're gonna have some good ones coming up it was hot in that building so we didn't get a ton just like four things i spent four dollars and fifty cents but one of them was a bag of things so let's go ahead and take a look at the haul from all three of these yard sales we went to today all right so dalton and i went to a few yard sales here's what we got i got this columbia pfg hat for two disney world bag i think that one was only a dollar the coach purse i got them to take 10 instead of 15 and then this little wallet is is a steve madden steve madden wallet and then this easton sports pack i think is actually worth about 110 dollars. that one i got for 10 i got a bke shirt this little case logic i have a little coach one of these that i love to put my cards in and this is just like it but for guys so or ladies that like camo I got this Detroit Postal Employee Credit Union little bank bag. Turvis Tumbler for only two bucks. Name brand. Tommy Bahama St. Kitts. Cheers Boston sweatshirt. Las Vegas beanie was 50 cents. All of these were $3. Just some cute little vintage knickknacks in a bottle. Little Tinkerbell. So for $3 I figured not bad. Uh, coaster Stone Coasters. And then all of these were only a quarter. I did find the old money recycled currency. That does okay. Just a bunch of really cute vintage cardstock. And this, if you do not know, you need to know Mary Hadley. And it is signed M.A. Hadley. This one should actually sell for about $20. And I got that for a dollar. And then I picked up, I think these were two for a dollar, the vintage kitty cat pillowcases i have four so i'll probably do those two sets of two and then another vintage pillowcase some tea towels these are vintage towels that are super cute i think again two for a dollar and then that towel as well as this purse so not a bad day overall at garage sales we did have to work and go to a few to find the stuff but we found it as always if you are interested in anything Email me, thenurseflipper at yahoo.com, and I will see you on the next one.